another day at work. We are ready to go on the field and do whatever we are needed to do. All the weeds away and stuff, these are hybrid sugarcane and we want to get our native varieties in. So right now we are pulling out the weeds in front of the sugar cane and helping clear the area so the sugar canes can grow better and absorb more water and all that stuff. So we have to come up with our own independent project and we haven't really talked about that. Nope. Were you discussing an idea with Lizzie? Yeah, Lizzie had an idea about soil. No, it was about snail population on ginger versus non-ginger and whether there are more snails on ginger. Would you be able to do that research here? Well, she was talking about it like specifically in the Ohia forest. So you'd have to go out there. Yeah. So, still not sure. I don't know. Have you thought of anything? Nope. I'm still uh, deciding. I'm hoping to do my project on something that has to do with photography and like conservation and like education. Not completely sure though. We'll see what happens. Alright, this is Justin. Oh yeah, Ono is. This is Christian. They're teaching us pigeon right now. Rough the mouth is the pigeon word for delicious. It means that it's so good that you, you cannot chew them. Like your mouth is broke. You broke, you broke your mouth too. Your okay. mouth is like, it's so yeah, good. There's a, there's a restaurant downtown called Broke the Mouth Grinds. Yeah. So, so the kind is just basically a catch-all term for anything. It's the thing. So if I say, if this were over there and I was talking to my friend, it's like, oh, give me the kind. And I would point to it. Very important, because otherwise he had no idea what you're talking about. It's just a broad term. It's a very thing. broad term for thing, something right? you need that, stuff. that you, you stuff can't really. name at that moment. <laughs> okay, what about the chin direction? Oh, so for Filipinos, I think this is mainly a Filipino <laughs> thing. Um, what Why? we do, instead, we import, instead of pointing with our hand, what we do is point with our chin. So, oh, go get me the kind. And then the receiver has to try and discern the direction from your no, chin. No, Filipinos, what point dude, it. they use their lips to like... Look at that over there. Yeah, no, no. We use the lips and the chin. Yeah, dude. No. Forget the kind. That's, that's what my grandma does. She used the chin. Bruh, your grandma is like a different kind of Filipino. Go get the kind. It is technically anti. And then anyone younger or uh, any that's any female older than you. Oh, yeah. Any male older than you is uncle. But most what people else don't. would you call them if you didn't call them auntie and uncle? Oh, uh, brada, sister, <laughs> cousin. No, that's like, I'd call you brada. <laughs> no, like close friends would be brada or sister. I wouldn't call you uncle unless I really wanted to. Like, hey, uncle, well, how are you? You would call him uncle. Are you older? I'd say it in a sarcastic context. <laughs> Why like, don't you call him uncle? Just because, like, like and then you get like brada, sister for like really close friends mm -hmm. or Cause, relatives. Like, or you just go bra. Hey, yeah. bra, how you doing? Most part, yeah. Come here, yeah. Cool. You got it? Things good? You get them? You get them. Yeah, they have a pigeon bible. This is a pigeon bible? Are you serious? Yeah, it's called the like Oh, addiction. I remember that. Oh, you mean yeah. an actual bible? Like an actual, like actual the bible, bible with translated like... Translated into pigeon. Translated in the beginning. Amazing, amazing. That's the start of creation. They're all Jesus, Mata, and Father. I wonder how popular that bible is. Okay. Like, I gotta find it. That didn't create as a joke either because there are families on the island who don't speak proper English oh, at all. They speak pigeon. Yeah, they, they speak. Because they, they learn to read it. Yeah, they learn to read, write, and speak in pigeon. When it comes to proper English, it's formal English. Really, yeah, like, like, like proper formal English, it gets like really difficult for them because it's just completely different set of rules. And my friend, he's trying to explain to it, like, oh, uh, say something in pigeon. Like, oh, which won't, like me say. And she's like, um, Say, where's the car? He's like, uh, where the car stay? Where the car stay? Where the car stay? Where the, car stay? the thickness of the blade. Like, the, no, just look at the, the blade, the blade. I know, I know. Yeah, Which one's better? Um, okay, this one has a longer blade and it's lighter, which means it's easier to swing. Um, so you don't wear yourself as much. This one is a lot tougher. And it holds the, the blade a lot better. Bye, friends. Do you know if uh, Peter's going to be doing this? Another day down in the field, and it just started raining as we stopped, which is pretty cool. We 
cleared a bunch of sugar cane from their weeds. And we met these really cool people and who were interning here who taught us a lot of pigeon. So that was really fun. It's a pretty day on the highway. It's like the Serengeti. Taking my picture. There we go. Remarkable. 15.61 minus 15.55.06. 16.23 minus 16.15.08. Sixteen point oh one three minus fifteen point nine six eight point oh four five. The super moist soils. Um, you're trying to get these all back to a relatively similar concentration, so the really wet soils still need to lose some water. Yep, that's gonna be a, a wet one too. Cool. C'est bon. <laughs>